Alright guys, uh, this is going to be a commentary on SOTUS. Uh, it's going to be an in-house between some NA mumblers. If you're not familiar, NA North American server uh, where we play. I mean, so the community is pretty, you know, spread out between EU server, European server, SCA server, Korean server, and North American server. So when we say NA, that means North American server is being played. And when we say mumble, that means uh, that's our voice communications. It's very like Ventrilo, and we have a server, and we have you know voice communications so that the team of five and team of five can communicate with each other outside of StarCraft. I mean, you know, during the game. But anyways, let's look at the game here. Let's see what we have coming up. We have uh, Brandon, Rush, Hellman, Marche, and Lawless going to be the Protoss team. And uh, yes, this is a new uh, new Sodus that version five thirteen, I believe, five point one three. It just got released today, actually. So this is the last hours of the day that it got released on the first day. And so some changes we've seen is we have a new character, Hybrid Mar. Let's check him out right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool character here. And um, we had some nerfs to the ghosts. Uh, Ghost nukes got his cooldown got increased and the damage got nerfed by quite a bit, actually. Uh, let's see, so let's turn, yeah, we do have the color scheme turned on so that each team is going to be one color. Do have the red for the for the Protoss team and blue for the Zerg team on the minimap here so you can tell where they're going. Alright, so let's just look at, the, look at the team comps right now. We have Rainer, Jim Rainer, and Hybrid Mar going top. And we have Brandon playing Tychus mid and Marche playing uh, Balrog Brutalizer with uh, Tiberius Rancor, the Ghost, at bottom. Mid for the Zerg is going to be Winston Cat. Uh, also, no, this is Voldy. His his real screen name is Voldy. He's just kind of using a, an account here. Top's going to be Ace as Rancor with Omerta as LZ. Cerny's going to be playing Micro with I'm Them playing Hybrid Mar. So, as we pause, it's kind of just like talk about some other let's look at the ch I'll get the change log up just so we can see what's going on here and and full, fully read the change log let me get it up hold on one second change log 5.0 okay so 5.13 we're looking at a uh, terrain change new hero hybrid mar it looks like we're going to see some increases in the base XP gain from kills, uh, assists. So you're going to see, you know, f high, faster leveling rate as well as uh, mineral inc uh, increase per kill. Uh, let's see. Fixed to bar plating. Garamon nerfed. His range is down one unit from 7.5 to 6.5. Uh, let's see. <laughs> SCVs now have priority as normal creeps. Uh, Viron Volkov got nerfed. His damage for his gaseous phage down. Warpol, his dark matter reflect increased after the bug in it got fixed. Rainer's Raiders increased on Jim Rainer's uh, up to 10 damage per second from 7. Uh, we'll go over it later if we see a pause in the game. But anyways, here we go. Bottom for both teams. Wow, I wish I could just uh, turn all this off. Let's kind of see what's going on here. No, can't wait to turn it off. But anyways, like I, like I said before, it's gonna be Ghost and Balrog versus Micro and um, Hybrid Mar. And look at like Balrog's gonna take a lot of damage in the first wave here. So not looking good for him at all. He actually could get uh, definitely be taking down 250 life right now. While it's doing a good job to kind of just uh you know try to harass here a little bit. And Marsh forced to use his blink or his flash already to get out of there. Here at mid, we're looking at Winston Cat and Brandon going at it, and Brandon doing a good job to kind of just you know harass the bio as much as he can. The splash damage on his uh, his auto attack is going to help take out some of those minions, hopefully. But those minions are just doing so much damage here for Winston Cat. As we zoom out to get a bigger picture of the of the playing field, so Winston Cat looking like he's getting a, a lot more denies here over Brandon as Brandon is a uh, one level down, but only by about one kill. But Winston Cat looking like he's going to go down, and he just he burrows and he puts on the monopod, so he's going to be okay, but if he pops uh, and Brandon is able to get him, it's going to be lights out for him. Let's check out top, see what's going on over here. 
Rush and Hellman, uh, both level 2 versus uh, level 3 and uh, a fleeting level 2 LZ that went back to base. So it looks like, uh, I would have to, I'm not quite sure, I guess Ace just kind of sucked up that extra XP that the LZ didn't have when he ran away. So let's just keep an eye on mid, mid here, as uh, this is probably the most exciting. We want to kind of see where the carries are going into the into the mid late game. Uh, not too much farming at all right now. Winston Cat picking up a speed creep, uh, uh, pick, pick up that accelerating raptor here uh, at at the bottom spawn point for that rune creep uh, here at bottom. Nothing much going on. Looks like uh, Marche and Lawless still very low. And only level two versus a level, let's see, level three on the Zerg side. Back to top, uh, looks like control is going to the Protoss team, and we're gonna see uh, mid go back at it. But Brandon now ahead as Winston Cat was missing for quite a while, and Brandon doing a good job to get some denies. Well, Winston Cat finally picking up his, or the Bowchan picking up his level five. Let's see what kind of uh, level he's building on each skill he's going level he's gonna looks like he's gonna be maxing out Q first getting one cannibalized and one aberrated claymore just to you know be able to use that skill when they need looks like oh rush is gonna tower dive and possibly to get taken out oh ace is oh very very close there looks like ace is gonna try to sneak around here and gonna cloak in look for the ghost is he gonna get him no but rush has already thrown on a health pot and ace could be in a lot of trouble here oh oh kind of a bad uh um you know, I guess the, the uh, I guess I don't, I'm not quite sure what uh, the the level is for hi Hybrid Mar because I'm not quite familiar with the names of it. Omerita well, looking really low, but he did able to pick up a health regen pot there. Back to mid, and Brandon has reached level six, and Biotron is level five only, but he's almost level six. So when he pops that uh, that ulti, he could be in good shape uh, here at top. Top's getting pushed here on the Protoss side. On the Zerg side, uh, the Protoss able to hold, not taking too much damage to their tower yet. Let's look at the levels. It's level 4 to level 3. And so, you know, Protoss side is down by one level, which is not so bad. That is that is not unovercomable. You, you can overcome that kind of deficit. Top's doing really well for bro both teams, actually. Looks like we're going to see an engagement here as Omerita's going to jump in. We're going to see a last stand, uh, but we did see a... A nice triple there on the Rainer and a first blood there taken by Ace's snipe. Looks like Helmut's gonna try Sane here and he's able to avenge the death of his uh, laning partner and take out the LZ. And looks like Ace wants to go after Helmut, but Helmut's gonna go after Ace and Ace is forced to run away. Wow, very nicely done. Uh, Helmut does have those those creeps with him, so Ace is forced to pull back. Let's kind of see what else is going around on the map. So it is 1 1. Oh, Cerny about to be taken out. If he gets one, Marsh gets one more hit on him, he's gonna be taken down. But ooh, looks like he pops the last stand and doubles his uh, uh, takes. You know, at least 160 plus level times 40 life back to himself. Uh, Marche forced to pull back to his tower. Certainly gets a bad pluck, kind of throws his own teammate out of the loop there. And here comes I'm them throwing down uh, that meteor shower here by Hybrid Mart. Ooh, but looks like top tower went down for. Uh, for the Zerg side, so this is going to be an advantage for the Protoss team. Let's kind of see where Brandon is at here. Brandon is actually ganking bottom at the moment. Let's kind of see what's going on. Cerny's in a lot of trouble here. Everybody's here. Cerny might go down if Marche can jump on him, and Brandon just shoots him down. That's all he needed to do. So Brandon's going to warp back to mid and take the creeps. Very nicely done there for Brandon, level 8. Looks like Winston Cat is also, is only level 7, so that gank proving to be the difference here between the two uh, mid carries. Hellman on the other hand is holding down top as Hybrid Mar while bottom for Protoss is able to push now with Micro dead and only now warping back into bottom. Brandon uh, did pop his ult looks like looks like he wants to get some pot shots off of Winston Cat is forcing him to retreat. Winston Cat did pop a health pot and does cannibalize but an ace from the Zerg side of uh, the rank rank court. Oh but looks like ooh hybrid mar warp in here. I'm them's gonna be here for the Zerg team and actually going to get a nice uh, wall off, a slowing wall and a four man gank on the mid. It's a beautiful gank there by uh, the Mar and Mar has mass teleport and can warp any of his teammates into anywhere on the map without vision uh, with five seconds of channeling. So that was beautifully done there by I Am Them and his hybrid Mar. 
So Merida trying to hold down the top. Looks like the Protossium are going to gank Ace in the top. And he gets marked and he gets a nice silence. Rush with a nice snipe there. As and Hellman and Rush take out the Rancor. That's very crucial. Rancors need to stay alive throughout the whole game. Them being down is very, uh, very costly, you know, at any point in the game. As they need to level, need to get that money. Need to hold the waves and, you know, have map control, scans, snoops, everything. Here at bottom, it's a uh, level 6 for both Amdem and Cerny, while level 5 on the Zerg side. So, I mean, Protoss side. Protoss side doing really poorly. Nice, nice combo there by Marsh to get his Sonic Screech down. Uh, that debuffs the armor on this on the micro and then uh, with the snipe from Lawless and the Rancor and then uh, you know the Zerg Jordan onto this on Cerny he's just able to take him down and Hellman using his uh, teleport to come in behind oh they need to get one hit on I'm them and the beautiful wall going down by Hellman beautiful wall beautiful wall and a four man gank on the bottom getting two kills at bottom on the Zerg side so the kills are in favor six to three in favor of the the Protoss team and this game is definitely picking up here into the mid game 12 minutes into the game laning phase is definitely over so we're gonna see who can get to the next tower first here and is it mid tower gonna go down no Brandon is here for the Protoss team he's gone three strength beacons very interestingly enough he's checking the scores here on his on on uh, the items of all the players here and yeah he's definitely ahead uh, and looks like Winston Cat's gonna he tried to pick up pick off somebody I'm not quite sure what he was doing here it uh, looks like we're gonna see a gank here Hellman's gonna go in as hybrid Mar. he's gonna be in a lot of trouble as there's this overdrive and blinkstorm but he does last stand and vitalize to stay alive is he gonna go down while well, I'm them and Winston Cat are gonna try to take out Rush Rush definitely gonna go down Hellman goes down as well so it's gonna be a double kill on the Zerg side what is Protoss side gonna do and while in the meantime you know, looks like they were just farming at bottom, so kind of a miscommunication there by the Protoss team. The Protoss team definitely needed to warp into top and try to save and counter gank. It looks like Brandon's going to get ganked in middle, but he's going to pop his ulti. He's going to try to take down LZ, but LZ able to blink away, and it's going to be a five-man gank here at mid. Cerny's in here, gets the pluck, and Brandon is definitely not going to escape that uh, five-man gank. So it looks like Zerg team has uh, definitely closed the gap. 6-6. Six, six. Uh, tied up on the kills here. The only thing that's different is there's a there's a there's a tower down uh, for the Protoss. So the Protoss has has that one tower, but mid tower with Brandon gone is definitely going to go down. Tier two could be in a lot of trouble here now as well. This is so interesting to see here the, the turn of events and the you know the use of Hybrid Mar and his mass teleport. His mass teleport is almost up. Only 22 seconds here on the cooldown. And looks like the Zerg team wants to take out tier tier one bottom. Certainly, just tanking the tower like no other. And Ace gonna try to cloak in, but the Lawless is cloaked himself. Certainly, gonna just take some pot shots from that from the from the cannon. So it looks like we're gonna have five here at bottom. I do not see any other blue dots on the northwest side of the map. So yeah, it is gonna be a five man on five man here at bottom. A nice uh wall here by the by Hellman slowing wall but hybrid Mar able to heal up his entire team so let's keep an eye on here what's going on oh there's the ulti uh, by Winston Cat Winston Cat up, uh, up upping his claymore and Winston Cat getting sniped by the Rancor and all nukes dropping walls going up everywhere Brandon in the middle of all this just tanking so much damage Hellman getting a kill on uh, on the LZ, Ace getting a kill on the Balrog, or the Rancor getting a kill on the Balrog, Cerny getting a nice throw on Hellman, Hellman's gonna go down to the tower, but I'm then gonna get that kill, Rush is gonna pick off Ace, and 